today we're going to combine a couple different effects to create a small scene. So we're going to start by creating a new HTML5 canvas. Assuming we made our settings default on our first assignment, the size would be 1280 by 720. I'm going to change my background color to blue to represent the sky. So pick a color that you think would be a good representation for the sky. Then I'm going to go to my rectangle tool. I do not need an outline. I'm going to pick a color to represent some grass for a football field. I'm going to draw my box a little bit larger than my canvas, and that's fine, because we'll only see the part that's inside the canvas when we run our project anyway. I'm going to take this layer, I'm going to call it the ground, and then I'm going to lock it so I don't accidentally mess it up. Then I'm going to create a new layer for the goalpost go back to my rectangle tool and change it to yellow. Then I'm going to draw a goal post. So we draw a rectangle, a couple more rectangles. I'm going to copy and paste one side so that they're both the same size. As long as my magnet tool is on, I should be able to drag this down and attach all of my pieces. If your piece doesn't line up, then you may want to let go, grab the corner of it, and move the corner till it lines up. And then all of your pieces should combine into one shape. Once I have my entire shape selected, I'm going to switch to the free transform tool. And if I go between one corner and a second corner, I will get these two arrows pointing opposite directions. That's the skew and I'm going to skew it this way to change the orientation of my goalpost so that it looks like we're looking at it from the side. So I'm going to lock this layer, and then I'm going to create a new layer for my football. So for my football, I'm going to go into my oval tool, and I'm going to switch to a brown color. I'm going to draw an oval that kind of looks like a football. Don't worry about the size, we can always rescale it later. Then I'm going to go to my zoom tool, and I'm going to draw a box right around my football to zoom in on just that shape. When you zoom in to something like 500%, any small imperfections that you have on your shape will not really be visible when you go back to 100%. So to make it look like you made something better than you really did. So I'm going to go to my line tool, I'm going to get a white color, and I'm going to draw a straight line. You can hold shift to force it to be a straight line, attach it from side to side, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. Then I'm going to take my paint bucket. I'm going to swap my two colors so that my paint bucket is white. And I'm going to fill both of those shapes in. I'm going to go back to my selection tool. And I'm going to use the shortcut of clicking on the keyframe for my layer to select everything. Click on the shape so that everything's selected. And then I'm going to take my pencil, which is my outline. I'm going to change that to no color, which will remove my line so that I have two nice looking bands on my football. Then I'm going to use my line tool again to add some laces to the football. So I'm going to just draw a straight line down and a second line next to it. And we're going to cross this over a few times. Go ahead and make the lines larger than you think they should be. It'll make it easier to cut them off here in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my selection tool, and I'm going to draw a box from outside of my shape. doesn't really matter where, but I want the edge of my box to go over about the part of my lines that I want to cut off. And then I'm going to do the same thing and change my stroke to no color. And do the same thing here. Change my stroke to no color. If you think your top and bottom also don't line up, you could do the same thing. Draw a box around the top no color, draw a box around the bottom, no color, and then they'll also be straight lines. It doesn't look super great, but if we go back to 100%, then it looks fine. So I'm going to click on my frame again to select everything, and I'm going to convert this to a symbol called football. I'm going to start my football over here, perhaps a little smaller. If I hold shift while I resize from the corner, it will scale proportionally. When it's even smaller, you really can't tell 
that the laces don't look super great. I'm going to create a motion tween on this layer. I can either do that on the timeline or I can right click the shape and create a motion tween. Everything else will appear to disappear and that's because these layers are shorter than my football layer. So first I'm going to stretch this out to about 60. And then I'm going to insert a frame on my goalpost and ground layer so that they will exist at the end of my animation. Then I'm going to take my football and move it through my goalpost. We'll give it a trajectory here. Click on my motion tween so that I can get my rotation options. And we'll say that this rotates maybe three times counterclockwise and see how that looks. Seems to be okay. I'm going to have it actually shrink down just a little bit at the end so that we get the illusion that the football is getting smaller. Make sure my line goes straight through the goalpost. Except we'll see that when we get to right here, the ball is right on top of the goalpost instead of behind it like we had made it. So now I'm going to lock my football layer and unlock my goalpost layer. Then I'm going to draw a box just around this edge and copy it. Relock my goalpost. I'm going to create a new layer called layer 4, and that will be my front goalpost. And I'm going to paste in place. And since this part is above the football, now I have the football going behind this goalpost, but it's still in front of this goalpost. So we have the illusion that it's going through the goalpost. If we were to preview this with Control Enter, we would not see our line anymore and see what the final project looks like. Now that my project's complete, I need to publish it. Go to File, Save As, name this assignment Football, make sure it is in my Google Drive Web Design Animate folder. It will remember which folder you're in, so you shouldn't have to change it every time. And then File, Publish Settings. This should also be in your Google Drive website animate folder. The same folder it was in last time, so you shouldn't have to change anything. So just hit save as football.js, publish to create your files, click OK, and we should be able to close animate. It'll ask if you want to save the changes from the published settings. We'll put yes. And then in Dreamweaver, our files should show up in our animate folder. If they haven't shown up yet, we can refresh to load in our new files. We'll want to open our index, and underneath our shape tween, we'll want to add our football.html. We need to save this file and either go to site, or since the only thing we change is in the animate folder, we can select the animate folder, upload that folder, and then check our website, and it should be there. So let's click our class, our name, our animate folder, then check our football assignment and everything is working just fine.